Hi everyone, I am you Phoenix. How are you getting on? Welcome to Life is Strange. Uh, this is also an episodic game, uh, just like Hitman is, only it's very different. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen a bit about it, but not a lot, so... I know it's a bit, it's a bit different than most games, so... More story-based, and uh, so this episode will probably be pretty long. But yeah, let's play it anyway. Okay, save game one. Uh, let's see, new game. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choices. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present and future. Choose wisely. In a storm. Come on, get up, girl. Before you Where catch a cold. What's happening? lighthouse apparently so just remember something about that so this is us how are we gonna climb up here no way holy shit if that isn't the big tornado, then I don't know what is. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna suck up everything. No. Lighthouse. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. That was so surreal. Was that a dream? Little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Okay. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and... That Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. That's weird indeed. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Also, a reason totally I wanted to play this uh, is because there is a part two coming she out soon, or a prequel. Right? I don't know what it is, actually. And like. frankly, it's bullshit. But shh, shh, it's coming out later this month, yourself. so yeah. Seriously, though, How do I... I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment what? of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. How? Isn't what? that too easy? Hold too left obvious? mouse button, drag mouse towards What if look? Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Nope. She had a brilliant eye. So, she Why could have taken it... another approach. I don't get how I this works. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her I work. I can't aim there. I prefer Robert Frank. Photographic muse. And both were the great what? chroniclers. Of the 1950s Hold left book. mouse button, drag mouse We've all seen towards. that iconic look. shot of Kerouac oh. on the balcony. And if you oh, haven't, sorry. look at this crap. I needed to direct to look. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. This isn't that bad. Shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th Journal. century poet. You did. Take selfie? What? Now, Pencil contrast case. Frank's stark Americana with and Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Uh, like Cocteau, I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. 
and his famous self-portraits okay, are let's famous. Read it. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. <laughs> and I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, Kate let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. Is that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party? <laughs> what? Or is that Backstroke Fest? You so punny, Max. Wow. Wow. <laughs> At least I'm trying to climb out my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Black Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on the loop, you have all the time in the world. Oh, there's a lot of here. I'm, I'm not gonna read all of this. Okay, this that was the end. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, a lot of stuff about her personal life and such. I'm not gonna read all of it, but <laughs> we'll see. Early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. Okay, let's look the at selfie. this. I and can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. <laughs> but I like it old school. What's wrong with a pencil case? I know. Why not? So if anybody wants to question the portrait as modest... I do love my analog camera. Oh, it's a camera. I should take a quick pic... I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. <laughs> Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Based on the chapters, I have no doubt you really gonna memorized. take a selfie right now, right here. Actual... <laughs> I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Not a hipster. The guys. point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth? to the first self-portraits. Uh... I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh, what Very a smart ass. Time. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Self-portrait was done by Robert Good. Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Oh, hey guys, That's don't the forget bell. the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> she seems a lot younger than the other ones. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class What's this? is turning in a photo, so... Huh, this might make a cool shot. What is I it, though? I just so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by... This is scratch. Two things. I just things. really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event. Okay. And I want to represent Black Lives Matter. Another camera. Just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. Now, Are we gonna no talk to them? Wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but 
I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is... Excuse me, <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Let's talk. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Hmm. <laughs> uh, do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. <laughs> Very you motivated. have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. But I don't have one, apparently, right now. What's this picture of? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Yeah, that's a weird picture. <laughs> Another one? Oh, that's the lighthouse. You can never escape the lighthouse here. What do you mean, never escape it? Well, let's look at the TV. Man, he why. even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't <laughs> wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Okay. Well, let's just go to the door. Open you it. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you you Welcome to the cute. real world. Hot. <laughs> then I might send you a special picture. <laughs> High school man. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. <laughs> She's so fucking shy. Gonna listen to music. See? Let's hope it isn't copyrighted so we won't get a strike. <laughs> Evan, Justin, Dana, Brooke, Logan, to Daniel. All of you. Missing person poster. It looks like she's been gone for months. American girls she's missing. Like to be part Where did she go? The world around you, driving a car oh, missing person poster. Gun free zone. Use of tobacco products prohibited. Of course, this. Hmm. Where do we go? Straight on. Samuel. No. Yes. No. Okay. Well, you said you wanted to go. Th oh, here's the bathroom. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Why are you so worried, girl? Sorry, I had to take a sip of water there. <laughs> Another poster. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> How does that work? Someone drew in the mirror. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started <laughs> with that bizarro dream in class. <laughs> Am I going crazy? Seems her height, so can't be many. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Yeah. 
Just give the picture to him. Fuck it. No. Come on, girl. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. <laughs> okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Need to take a picture of it. Let's take a photo, quickly, before it moves. Did it work out? Hope so. Wait, that's the guy. What's he doing in the girl's bathroom? This was the girl's bathroom, cool, right? <laughs> Don't stress, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I what could did blow you do? it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your uh, respectable family would help drugs. me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing oh, around with. Where'd you get a that? A gun. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No. Oh. Fuck. She got shot. Whoa. What, what? the fuck? Was it another dream? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my uh. hand. And then I was back here. likely was. Oh no. It's not going to be good. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. <laughs> well, now she can Kate answer the question correctly Catholic. because he's already heard it. And if Victoria's <laughs> phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, shit? I not believe this. She she broke broke her camera. Black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? That's the spirit. Because of her. Oh. How much further are we gonna rewind? Oh, so that the camera didn't drop? I did. No. Okay. I actually did it. What? Perfectly captured human time machine. Anybody? Max, <laughs> don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Faces. We have heard this like already. Totally haunted by the eyes of those what, do I need to take a selfie again? Selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Right? Okay, let's if do it. If he does it. again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb <laughs> word for a wonderful photographic yep. tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. It's the early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. It's not always good to, to, to go change to the, the past check it out. or the future now, in this Max, case. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Yes. Uh, uh, the, I have, I feel sick. I'm sorry. Let's say that. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. <laughs> but you're not wow. going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits Shit. a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. 
Sad face. <coughs> yeah, we heard that. Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? This icon means you learn a useful fact that you may be able to onward. use if you rewind. The first American to Gary Okay. Well, rewinding holds shift to rewind faster. Oh, that helps. Now, uh, Max, since you've captured <laughs> our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self -portrait? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process. Daguerrean. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. <laughs> nice work, Max. Wow. Excellent. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, <laughs> mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. <laughs> and guys, don't forget the deadline to nice. submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll okay. fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yeah, we heard all of this before. Max, you are not <laughs> crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Okay, so we just yes. go to the bathroom straight away. Instead of worrying. I see you, Max Caulfield. Oh, Don't no. even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. <laughs> I'd never let one so of do photographer's talk future him. stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, uh, I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, <laughs> don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go it's on. It's true. Don't let me stop you. Press control to quickly undo your previous action. Okay. Just pressing control works. Hold on there. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Do we need to speak again? Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Yeah. Excuse you. No, Victoria. <laughs> Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. This is really gonna get confusing after a while. John Lennon said. <laughs> I'm on top wow. of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, <laughs> you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Wow. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. <laughs> oh, he has faith in me because I actually knew what he wants to hear. Okay, can I now go out? We've already looked at this stuff before, so. I hope I have enough no time point. to go to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, just go. So now look, yeah, it is the girl's bathroom. Okay, Max, retrace every step. <laughs> I washed my face. You washed your face, I indeed. my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. There it and is. I took a photo. Boom! Fo picture of the butterfly. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know okay. who the fuck I am or who what you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Ah. Tell me what to do. Well, this sorry, helps. happening again? I need a hammer to break it open. No. Get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever there it is. miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away Quickly. from me, psycho! No. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. Nobody if I can reverse time again, I can help her. Punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. No. Fuck. Shit. Oh. Can I go back? Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control what? me. What the hammer? Why is it? Hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even okay, miss go. your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't <laughs> ever touch me again, freak. Okay, we safe there. Oh, no. 
another shitty day. <laughs> that did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw Quickly. a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck what? is going on? Do yeah. not freak out. You need to get out of the building, girl. Press hey, fire alarm. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. <laughs> excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <laughs> Get told to. Do we now talk to this man? What is he, the principal or something? He is. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max... No, I did something right, me. actually. Uh... Fuck. I think... I think we should report him and be honest with this man. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? <laughs> you sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow yeah. down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. <laughs> I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. Of course. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into <laughs> the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Okay. That's Did we do it? good? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything okay. since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Should we? No. I don't think we should change it because Maybe who knows, it will influence another thing later, instead. I just, I don't know. Yeah, let's just leave it where it is. This is a nice campus. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. I hope I did the right thing. Well, can't do anything about it now. Coins. <laughs> I better read Warren's text before he. Oh. What did he say? Can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. Sorry, running late. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool, you'll see. My camera, I will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. So is he a boyfriend or something? Or just a friend? Mom, Kate, Dad. Okay. Does it say anything about it? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. <laughs> Should we though? Okay. Objective. I need to go through my rope to get wire and flash drive. Okay. 
Oh, these are all the people. That we know about, at least. Okay. <laughs> Where do we go? Maybe it says on this. The dorms are that way, yeah. Thought so? Hello? <laughs> Everyone's sitting by themselves. I need to so go there. Okay. These the dorms? Yeah. <laughs> I Must need to be. go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott Dormitory, donated by Sean Prescott and the Prescott Foundation 1998. They really have a lot of influence in this school. Speak to this one. Oh. Don't know why. Hi, Max. Uh. How are you? How are you so doing? Sad. Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. No. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse <laughs> me. Okay. Okay. Just let you be then. There's Victoria. Okay, we do need to go this way. Oh you move. Look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. <laughs> what a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> oh, shut up. You were gonna say it otherwise. I know it. Since you know all the answers, not a princess. I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. No. Oh wait. I could just Hold that walk place. over you, literally. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before <laughs> I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. Fuck. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Okay, are we gonna do this? We can use the sprinklers. I Fearing could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive <laughs> to beat it. Okay. How do we do that? This way? The door is still open. Water pump. <laughs> Aha! What the hell? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. <laughs> yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look Serves you great. right. I can't even chill on the steps. <laughs> Can we now get inside? So, do you understand English? Get lost. No. Are you still in my way? None shall pass. Capiche? You bitch. <laughs> okay. What? These in the way. Could I maybe hmm, get her to go there? Sweet. Okay. Now. No, I can't do it anymore when he does that. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Nope, after that I can't do it anymore. What the hell? Yeah, we know about all this. <laughs> Temper. Aha. No. Okay, so let's now. see if this works. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There it goes. No way. No fucking way. Samuel, Got it. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. <laughs> so move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Indeed. Can I now go inside? Uh, to her. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, <laughs> Max? <laughs> now she's, mm. What should we do? Uh, let's make fun of her because <laughs> Don't. she's too mean. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait, hold that pose. <laughs> and picture. no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room. Okay. And see Just more. wanted to see what happened, but I'm not gonna do it. Maybe that's better for everything. Okay, hold on there. Uh. Yeah, go on. Comfort her. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. <laughs> but there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope be those nice sluts give me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> you deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. <laughs> that was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Okay, that's, this is better. This is better. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I... No. I, th I leave it like it is. Okay. Wait, how are we hearing this music? She doesn't have the earplugs in this time. <laughs> Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. <laughs> is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Wow. Truly pathetic. <laughs> Read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Seriously, who care? cares? Stomp on Bigfoot. <laughs> okay. What is actually my room? Fire alarm. No, I'm not gonna do that. Board. Showers. S more slates. Be the change you wish to see. Okay. Nothing on our How board. Sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Let's write anything. Don't know what, but let's do anything. Or draw. <laughs> well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. That's nice. It's not that big, but what do you expect? Oh, another one. Uh, this one's already been. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales. That you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge, and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Mom. How do you mean false charts? How do you know? This is bullshit. 
Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. <laughs> wow. Take another photo of myself? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Don't know why yet, but <laughs> what's this? All the their Max pictures. Max Caulfield photo memorial wall. Turn off the lights. Ahoy, Teddy Captain. Bear. <laughs> At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me <laughs> through the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Wow. Yeah, that's always the case with that kind of stuff, isn't it? Oh, we're lying down now. <laughs> oh, it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Who knows? Well, this is not Inception, so we'll see. Okay, let's play some music. <laughs> Cartier, Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. What's in here? <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Yeah, it's good to get it out of the way as quickly as possible, such things. That's the More only pictures. tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Hmm. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. <laughs> Great fight. Man, Kristen wow. and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Okay. What's this sticky note? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. D. D. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Oh. <laughs> Let's use the laptop first. I am so addicted to Camera this porn. What's Look this? Look at these vintage beauties. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I don't know if I can show you this. <laughs> Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather electric collection of TV, cult, classic and fucked up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now can you explain how to me how the camera works? <laughs> okay. Oh, there was more. Wait a minute, there was more. Warren makes me laugh. No, there wasn't I'm more. I'm so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Okay, apparently not. What's in this photo album? Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. So just her heroes in photography, I guess. Well, the song ended. <laughs> oh, we need to water this plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. <laughs> Drink up. What? <laughs> what, so now the plant will go bigger? I'm sure that's... Great. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. 
Yeah, you look at a lot of stuff in these days. Cookies. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. <laughs> and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. Wow. <laughs> she sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. <laughs> Can I eat one of them now? I want a cookie. Apparently not. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. Ah, I'm so you're 18. My parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. <laughs> Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born. In your first smile, it was love at first sight. <laughs> it's your special day. We will miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. How oh, nice. But we found out she's 18 now, so yeah. This is not co this is not high school, like I said, this is college. Well, it works a bit different here, so I can't really s know how it is, what age you do what. But it's I think it's exactly college. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. <laughs> I will play the guitar another time. Let's go to Dana's room, since she has the flash drive. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh god. Welcome Another to thing the we real need to drama fix. queens of Blackwell. This is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. Hey, Juliet. Is <laughs> everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana really in the room because we're cool. <laughs> uh... What did she do? Let's, did she let's do? just ask her. What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, Sexting. why do you care? New word. Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh... Patson? I th Juliet how would I know? Pats Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. <laughs> Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Okay. Now let me rewind this because I know I can get it now. Okay. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. No. This is so stupid. <laughs> no, 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 no. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Yeah, I know, I know. Ouch. Uh, why do you care? Yeah. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? I know it. It's Celia Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. <laughs> I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary mm. won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know How are we gonna do this? <sighs> Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Yeah, well, I need you to get out of there because I need to get in there. So what now? Fuck, what are we gonna do? Fire alarm? <laughs> At least that's an alarm from this century. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna trigger it. And I can't even, so... Why is there a toilet paper? Looks like nobody won yet? this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Ah, we're gonna talk to Victoria, that's why. No, she isn't here. So we're just gonna look in her room. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Tablet? 
Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? <laughs> Maybe I will join wow. her posse. <laughs> That's very expensive. What is it on her? I don't know where is it on her laptop. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo, and for this nice shot. Boom! <laughs> this is the email I need to show Juliet. Uh -huh. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor's. Look, okay, we'll read it later. Damn. How how do we do this then? Print email. Quick. He knows he gets back soon. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Okay, go. Whew. Okay, she didn't come. It's okay. Juliet, read this. Of course. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. So that's And I Dana. hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? <laughs> and you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. <laughs> You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Okay. Almost done. Can I get Take it? the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Well, let's speak hey, to her Dana. first. Seriously, thanks again. <laughs> I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. <laughs> yeah. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you <laughs> blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. <laughs> okay. Where is it? There it is. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> really? Okay, really? <laughs> What's this? <sighs> but I, I can't read that fast. Wait a minute. Uh... I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Hi. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go outside. Well. I think I'm gonna leave this episode here for today actually. Uh, we've been playing for a long time and uh, I'll continue this episode another time. I think it's about two hours long so we're about halfway there I think. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, this was you Phoenix. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more to come. Until then, be brave, be kind and stay awesome.